Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm so excited, you guys, because I'm going to be unboxing the Canon G7X Mark II. I am currently filming on the Canon G7X. It was not my first camera when I started YouTube. I started on what my kids call a tourist camera, and nothing was wrong with it, but the quality was very poor. I put out some very poor quality videos, and it was the kind that I don't even have it anymore. Maybe it's somewhere, I don't know, but the screen opens up to the side, and nothing's wrong with that, but it's, it's round like this, and the screen opens up to the side, and my kids are like, you and that tourist camera again, and then from that, I upgraded to like a regular camera that mostly took pictures, but I was able to record from that as well, and then I got the Canon G7X, and now I have been wanting this forever. And you guys, when it comes to things and suggestions and stuff like that, you know how there's CP time? Well, there's Michelle time. So it took me forever to get it. I've been wanting it for a while, but I'm like, G7X, the one that I'm filming right now, works just fine. So, you know, I'll just keep using what I have. But I do know the Canon G7X Mark II is of better quality. Other than me opening up the box that it was packaged in, I did not open this. So let's get started. But first, see, it's right here. I'm so excited, you guys. Came with it like this, and this is just a 32 gigabyte. I didn't get a bundle or anything like that, which I actually should have, and Melissa showed me when they had a bundle on a website that I was able to get different things, and I'm just a procrastinator, you guys. I don't know why I didn't do it. So I basically just got the camera, and this was the extra. So, yeah. So let's open it. trying to do this where you guys can see it and I do not want to drop it because these cameras are not cheap this camera is six hundred and thirty dollars so yeah so just some little registration cards or registration um, papers fell on the ground okay and then there's a like user manual getting started I'll just throw that on the floor since everything else wants to go on the floor this right here is just the Oh, that's just a little wrist strap, which um, you put in the camera. And a wrist strap came with the one that I'm using now, the Canon G7X. But after about a year, maybe a year to a year and a half, I had to buy a thicker, stronger strap from Amazon. So that's what I did. So here we go. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I'm just throwing stuff on the floor because apparently that's where things are ending up. Here's the battery and it came, it fell out of the little plastic sleeve right there. And here's the battery charger. Let me open it up like that, put the battery in. Yeah. So pretty much like my other one. And in this little container right here, gonna put the box on the floor because apparently that's where everything else wants to be opening it up Whoa. and here's the camera it's lightweight just like the Canon G7X there's a mark 3 also but the reason why I did not get the mark 3 is because I did research and I talked to other people about it and the mark 3 which is the newer version, right? The auto focus is garbage. So they actually said this one is better. So here's the camera, it's the front. Pretty much similar to the other one. And then you have all your, you have your controls right there. And then on the back, it's the same. You have the flip screen, which is the same. So flip it up for when you're vlogging, you can see yourself but make sure you look here, not here. Which, when I first started vlogging with this camera, I always looked in the viewfinder, and then, I don't know, it dawned on me, I'm like, why am I looking here? I need to look at you guys, which is through the camera. So, it flips up, and then it also opens up at that angle right there, I guess in case you wanna shoot at a different angle. But yeah, so let me put the battery in, because, I'm sure the battery has a, at least a little charge. Turn this puppy on. 
pretty cool. Okay, so I have to set the date and time. So all of that is set and I don't have a memory card in it, but I just wanna zoom on something. Oh my goodness, already it's much better. Y'all, the quality, of course you can't see. The quality compared to my camera now, I don't know if you guys can tell, but look at that. Look at that. And then I'm gonna zoom in, not too much, because y'all don't wanna see everything. Whoa, that's a little bit too close, but you guys, I'm going to love this camera. And then up in here is where you put your battery, and then you put your SD card in there. And then of course here, this little hole right there where you could screw your tripod in and stuff like that. So I am going to go ahead and put this on there, even though I know, knowing me, I'm eventually going to get a thicker, stronger one. Cause see, I don't want the camera to fall. See how small that little strap is? That breaks very easily. So you can put it on either end on this end because I am right-handed so I'll do that okay and it is on so when you're vlogging you can have it like this that way it won't fall but like I said eventually I will get a another stronger one and I probably will just order another one from Amazon right away that way I can have it and this little lever right here you press and you can have the flash because this camera not only records, but it takes pictures as well. I love the sound it makes when it comes on. Listen, mine makes a sound also, but it's just different than that. This is so cute. I'm going to love this, you guys. I've been waiting so long on this, and it's weird because you would think the Mark III, which is the newer generation, you would think that one is better, but no, I've heard people bought it and went back to this. The Mark II has better autofocus, and just from using it right here, I can tell I'm gonna love this camera a whole lot better. I'm also gonna show some close-ups of this camera, and then as I use it, I will come back and give you guys a review, maybe in a separate video, or maybe in the vlog. guys that's my Canon G7X Mark II um, the camera that I've been procrastinating and finally got what kind of camera do you use to vlog do you vlog with your phone which nothing is wrong with vlogging with your phone of them youtubers especially huge youtubers they start out on their phone before they upgrade I have a small channel but I still wanted quality video so that's why I had to upgrade to this camera so yeah it's very lightweight it's about one pound it's pretty much the same as the camera that's there. You guys can't see it because I'm filming on it, but 
yeah, I think I'm going to like this. And the thing about the Canon G7X is that you cannot add a mic to this. So that's the only thing that I would say negative about it. But of course I haven't used it yet. But as far as I know, Melissa uses this and her video quality is awesome. And a lot of different other people that I watch use this particular camera and they put out some high quality videos. So I can't wait to get started with this, you guys, and use it and yeah. Probably the next video you guys see will be a vlog, but I still have footage of my old camera, so I'll put that up. So that is it. Really short video, but I just wanted to show you guys my new camera that I will be filming on shortly. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you came for the unboxing, please, please consider subscribing before you leave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.